Let's see, we do have Meta Boy starting on the left, so that's right. Let me fill in the rest of these for you. Good guys. Uh, Bamboo Son. It was Hollywood banned out. Oh, I got to replace my super spooky Hollywood there. I need to get normal Hollywood back in. It's not October anymore. And then for push, we had Esperanza banned out by good guys. Esperanza, excuse me. All right, so there's your there's your bands in. Uh, bringing us to today's map pool. Oh, hey, get that out of there. Oasis Midtown, Rina Sapi, Sir Avasa, and Circuit Royale. We're here for your week five Monday matchup. Two seven to one top contenders here in the EMEA Expert. Remember, top two teams, uh, when it's all said and done, will auto advance into Master for season four. Uh, teams third and fourth will get a chance in relegation matches to fight their way up to Master Division, which is where these two teams currently sit in standings. All right. Get you to map one. Ooh, let's get that a little bit more. There we go. That's a little bit better. There we go. Now the camera's right. There we go. All right, let's get into this. Oh, we're going back to a little bit of the old Goblin Fastball. The old Arisa compositions with the Genji and the Juno and the Brig. Only we do hit this variant on the other side as we get the Juicy O out. We've seen this before from good guys. Oh, uh, I don't know if there's anyone streaming the Celtus match today, I'm afraid. Oh, Depsy will muscle. Meta Boy's off the point long enough to grab first control. It's a two for one trade, but Depsy himself does fall. Still no tank left here on the battlefield. Fight number one. And D Cruz, you know, I was, I was talking about ICAP's prowess in the hit scan roll. D Cruz had a hell of a first fight. Almost got that dead eye ready to go. Good start here for good guys. What's up, Cassie? All right, already coming up on some ultimates here early. We'll be heading into the second engagement. Dead eye, maybe by obviously some space to get this orbital the way in position. But I think they'll wait for Texal to get that online. I mean, barring finding an early pick. Ooh, Bloom already had theirs ready to go. Depsy has got Poro kind of trapped inside the hallway. Texal a touch late with getting that orbital ray online. Ends up being a favorable trade here for, for good guys as they find the take on the other side. Invest their sound barrier and looking to hold on to this point. The crews will pick up Texal along in that hallway. Depsy speared a tumbleweed, but you know what? There was a cyber ninja on the other side. Hiding in the tumbleweeds. Garaba's gonna pick up a kill. Blade now ready to go. 73% on the clock here for good guys. Take a look at this other side. Gonna have to be a battle of the terror surge. We'll see who can get the better value on the DPS. Both blades are pulled. Fake Jake, a little more health than I can have with a kill. On to the ninja on the other side. D Cruz cut down. So, whoo, DPS getting the work done here for Meta Boys. And they will finally get control of this thing. When they'll finally get health bars working again. KP? Cappy? KPY? I appreciate the follow. That was a quick dash in. Oh, and it turns the attention of Fake Jake and it opens things up for D Cruz to get a kill in. Depsy threw the Terra Surge in there on the back line while Bloom and Karama took Coral Plays out of this fight. The last ditch effort here from Texol as they try to get some of the help from space, but I don't even think that's going to be enough. It looks like good guys have this one locked down. They'll take University. Morning, Cass. Hey, it's afternoon here, okay? It's early afternoon here, but it's afternoon here. Ready for
Dempsey's gonna head on over to a diva right out of the gate. We're gonna get this battle for high ground here immediately. Oop, that's a diva looking at a floor. Wasn't quite the transition I was going for, but I guess it worked as everybody dropped down to the low ground. And now all attention on to this poor place. Orisa Gold already is without the Fortify. Just a bit of a sit and duck as they get caught out with from the rest of the team. ICAV now under a lot of pressure. Stepsy is giving chase. And good guys are in prime position to grab this first control once again. It was almost 100 to 0 there for them in that first map. They did end up losing control right at the 99 mark, but they immediately take it back on the retake there to secure University. Oh, good shooting out of ICAV. Catches Karama on that soft flank. Depsy on the retreat here. I don't think it's going to get out. They make it to the high ground. We get chased down. Turns out jump boots are kind of awesome on a support. All right, so doesn't take Meta Boys nearly as long. Grab control here in the second round. Second fight in. They've already flipped the point around. Dropping a dead eye here to hold on to it. Nope, didn't find anything with it. We're going to get speed ring engaged just right out here in the middle. Don't typically see this out here in the parking area. Bob available for D Cruz. Oh, that's gonna be a, a lot of ults coming in. Bow support ults, terror surge thrown in. One for one trade onto the back line. Rally up, and good guys managed to kind of sneak the point out from underneath the meta boys throughout this. Dempsey goes back in over the wall, joined by Karama, and they're gonna force everybody back a little bit as Karama's gonna pull off the blade into the hallway. Vides ICAV, not able to fend off the ninja there in the back. And that's a tough, that's a tough ask in a small hallway. Oh, hey, there's another katana being pulled. Let's go check it on Rod FD. Or excuse me, on Fake Jake, as they're cutting down through the shield of Rod FD. Both Kenji's finding a little bit of value here. And can't help but what, I mean, Meta Boys just kind of let this one sneak out from underneath him amidst the orbital rays. Forced off uh, by that move. Otherwise, they'd be building percentage this whole time. Getting the push out front. Does force out the bob from the other side. I'm gonna get a dead eye from my cab here, and little bloom's gonna fall. So barring a, a trade, I think good guys kind of got stopped in their tracks there with losing their Juno. Still Karaba's gonna go ahead and push a little bit. And just build a little bit of old charge. Depsy cycles in, they're able to grab first corner, running Meta Boys back off the objective. Meta Boys sitting back. Looking to re-engage here. Yeah, there's the speed ring, and it's onto the back line here for Poro plays. Close to that terror surge, but not quite there yet. Fend it off. Good guys hold their ground. Coming up on an orbit of their own. Meta Boys could take the advantage on this. They had Little Bloom beat to the punch. Now they're gonna go ahead and throw in the terror surge. Come, they're waiting for Poro plays to get there online. And hey, you know what? That was a good value. It works out. That's three ults invested, but. An important fight hand win here with 85% on the board and ready to go. Minimizing chance on a retake. Good time to invest. Fake Jake does have the blade. Karama should get a touch here. 95%. Let's go to some Karama Pop. You're going to make it onto the point. Dick Cruz on to a tracer. Fake Jake. Nope. Nobody gets on. All right. We're headed to Garden to determine this one. Right, I have to go back over to the Lucio here. 
a juicy little spot. We catch somebody, catch somebody slipping trying to put us out of that door. But Metabol is just back up into the hallway. Did they not get anybody here that they like. They didn't like the setup. We go ahead and take another stab at this thing. Do send Fake Jake over the middle, but they're just kind of stuck at the choke, being marked by Karama. Icap does pick up their counterpart on the other side. Core play is here with the center pillar to dance around. Force is uh, Depsy right on off of this point. It's fake Jake moves in behind to cut the knees out from the comp. Good first fight from Metapoys. First time they're grabbing first cap here on this point. Or on this map, rather. John, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you being here. Push in with ICAP dropping a dead eye. What an early dead eye. Holy hell. Nobody else was even close in the lobby. I mean, and, uh, they may have tracked that ICAP was close. I don't think they tracked that ICAP had the dead eye ready to go. Beautiful ultimate. Clean fight win. Just the two kills there for ICAP. Okay, Karama kind of trying to escort the rest of the team in. See if they can get on position. Otherwise, I, if they can't get up to that high ground, ICAP is just going to have a field day up here. Big check was marking window. Karama's going to go swap places with them. Rotation. It looks like you guys just opted to try to just muscle on to this point. I'm just going to let ICAP sit up top. ICAP eventually drops into the thick with this terror surge. And then and quick kill on D Crow. So, ICAP, the only cowboy left in this fight is the sound barrier comes in. And the orbit already fades from both of our squads. Dempsey is able to pick up one. Does still have the terror surge to work with. But is looking a bit surrounded here. Snake Jake pulls out the Dragon Blade. Immediately cutting through Little Plume. Won't take much to finish off Depsy as well. Although a quick slam of the spear does take a Kurama out of this fight. Or excuse me, that was fake Jake. And Kurama picking up a pair of kills on the back of it. So, interesting turn of events here. Especially with D-Cruz coming up with one. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Depsy finds fake Jake with a very, a very quick Terra Surge. Kurama comes in and picks up two in the neutral, and then D. Cruz finds one in what should not have been a winnable fight. Now we got Kurama with a blade ready to go. He's gonna use it right in this hallway, you betcha. Everybody just kind of clumped up in here. Seems like a perfect time for a katana. Two for one trade. Take that all day, every day, twice on game day. 30% on the board here for good guys. They take fight. It's their second fight to hold the point. Good timing on the spear. I swear D Flight didn't be able to uh, work on javelins. I swear that's relatively new. Quick move up to the high ground, forces rotation out of good guys. Over to Ray, will push them all the way back. D Crew's gonna try to retake it here. Over to Ray coming out from Little Plume as well. Moving back onto this point. Poro plays and erupts it there with the Terrace. So right onto the pack as they try to push on. Most are able to push pack. Depsy actually picks up GCB in that process. Woo, energy jab into the high ground. Won't find the mark. ICAV is able to find a trade, but not before the rest of their team falls around them. And this one's headed to 99-99. Good guys with the defender's advantage, but no ults to work with. Ooh, I say that. We do have the sound barrier versus the blade here for this final fight. I can with an outstanding pair of kills to open this sub uh, map. Better boys could use a book in performance. It's gonna be the sound barrier thrown in early. Meta boys don't even really disengage. You just gotta hold the line. Depsy charges in, and Fake Jake is gonna wait till the barrier fades to pull out the sword. Picking up a little plume immediately, trying to chase Rod to the high ground. Kuruma low as well. Fake Jake haven't quite been able to secure the kill on either. GCB moves in to take down one. Oh, there's a quick little move to find Kuruma out of the sky. And GCB stands tall. They're finding three final blows in that last fight, pushing Meta boys ahead into a 1 0 lead. All right, 
some stats from map number one. I can't have it a hell of a map. 15k there. D Cruz keeping up though. 15-8. Both of our hit scans. Uh, having a lot of room to work and having a big impact there in map one. GCB, GCB with the huge play at the very end. All right, let's go look at the map bands here heading into map two. It was Hollywood banned out my meta boys. Here for good guys map pick. Let me go do a swappy swappy. Does bring us to Midtown here for map number two. ICAV dropping the Witch Kitty. I don't see any subs. JJ's mini market reminds me of a place called Jimmy's Food Market here in my hometown. They, make, they just have some of the best food sandwiches. So good, so good. All right, let's get into map two. Meta starting us off on the attack here. Everybody's sticking with a little bit of the old fastball. Give me the cast versus the gash. Deep Cruz already hurt here in that matchup. Text all with a good volley of torpedoes. Finds Little Plume for that opening pick. But ICAV's in trouble. Karamo's able to move in and chase them down. So, good pressure. Out of good guys are able to get the trade. And I don't know about y'all, but my brain is happy with the colors now. Like, good guys' logo is blue. They're in the blue jerseys. Metaboy's logo is red. They're in the red jerseys. All's right for the world. A lot of movement into the back line, but Poro does end up overstaying their welcome there back behind enemy lines. GCB getting in a bit deep as well. Trying to act as a pseudo tank in lieu of Poro being out of the fight, but not able to hold the line. And the defense overcomes, sustains, and stabilizes. Here with uh, about buck 15 off the clock thus far. We are starting to come up on some ultimates here for both of our teams, notably those orbital rays online ready to go, despite being, well, Plume is still a little touch behind, actually. Could be could be a difference maker if, you know, Meta Boys want to pull the trigger now. Uh, and despite the nerf to that ultimate, still very strong. But look at the combo. Depsy goes flying. And I say combo. I mean, it was a rally Terra Surge combo. Not the combo you might expect, but it's the combo that Meta Boys needed. Yep, that's, that's, that's it. That's it, Meta Boys. I got other the color swap to get me. I make good guys. Now we're going to get uh, the other three support ults remaining on the battlefield all tossed in simultaneously. Might as well throw a Terror Surge. Why not? Let's put a Bob in there for good matter. How about a Deadeye? Any more? Any more ultimates? Garama's off the battlefield, so that one's not an option. Jake moving on to this point with the only ultimate left on the table. At least that's not looking at a respawn timer currently. Depsy tries to move back on to this point with D-Cruz up on the stairs here for the retake. But Fake Jake goes in with that blade. He's able to cut him down with a little help from GCB. He's moved on over to a Lucio. Picking up two kills there on said Lucio. All right, we get the Wild South GCB. Irish main support, formerly of a one man army, uh, before they picked up Donghoon. That's, you know, a tough act to follow, but GCB has very good main support in their own, right? Particularly on the bridge.
Spear doesn't quite land. That would have actually sent Poro off the high ground. A bit of a shame there. Fortify was popped late, but it was eventually popped, and Meta Boys dropped down. Dempsey wants to pursue this. Giving up that valuable position. You gotta be careful putting yourself in a bit of a crossfire here. You do have uh, Fake Jake is hanging out on that right hand side. And he's gonna win that duel against Karama. Depsy throws in the ultimate to try to seal the deal here up front. But Poro is able to muscle pass. Oh, but not for long. Little Plume gives chase, following Poro up the stairs. And I think this one might just stall out here. Fake Jake trying to get out alive. We'll do so. Bob in the corner there just to kind of prevent the push up onto the high ground from this orbital rest. So everybody from good guys, uh, from Meta Boys, just push down low, unusually enough. We're going to get the rotation from up top and the drop down. Rod FD with a rally to push into this if they need it. We're going to go inside the little room. Okay. Nope. They don't want to follow. They do not want to follow. So back rotation up top. Orbital right thrown in from Little Plume as they push forward and meet the rotation. Here's the dead eye coming in from ICAV. Rally pushed in and Rod FD is going to go down. Rod will not get a chance to pop that rally, but ICAV is done for this fight as well. Stun up top is the end of Depsy. Meta boys are starting to roll here. Is they're going to get through the, the dip? Start making their way into the train station. Now, it will require one more fight. And Fake Jake has the only ultimate to their name, too, here for the defenders, including the rally from Rod FD. Fake Jake trying to put pressure down immediately. Goes diving up into the top corner. He goes looking for a Juno in the back line. He can't quite find it. Right after he pops that rally, takes Fake Jake down. Able to peel for their supports. And whoever else might have needed it back there. Right after he is the protector of the realm. Or, or at least of Midtown. Sorry, I needed a sip of my beverage. I was parched. Once again, defensive advantage, not only positionally, but with ults. Although, high ground salt league being taken here by Meta Boys. So that positioning, uh, now it's at least starting to tilt. I kept taking, you know, full, full advantage. That to be redundant. There had to be a better word there. I just couldn't think of it. That's two. Both, uh, oh god, I can't. He's going on a tear. Rampage through the streets of Midtown. And that's gonna be that point B. But only a buck forty on the clock left to do anything with it. That sights up from D Cruz and immediately finds the head of ICAB. That was filthy. Oh, you got a, a low fake Jake down there, and that's a headshot out of D. Cruz. Both DPS feeling the pain there off of D. Cruz's swap uh, and getting that Infrasight on. Now only a minute remains. Good guys are thoroughly entrenched here into the spawn door. A terror surge. No, not everybody makes it out of that one. As we get a, a trade of torpedoes onto your brigs. Something you don't see every day. Depsy hung around a little bit too long in there on the front line. ICAP's trying to finish off D. Cruz. Oh, it's the spear from Poro that nails them into the corner. Ow. D. Cruz has returned. Jab's been used. Try to close the gap here for Poro plays. Four, nearly five ults online, but we're headed into OT. This is fake Jake. He's already found one. Cuts down Rod FD. Blade heads into the back, into the orbital ray, and all oh, well, 85 healing at the very least. But the orbital ray fades. The rally persists. 
And Persistence wins the day here for Meta Boys as they'll put three points on the board. Juno just taking a nap. I feel like that one really went down to macro. The defenders seem to always have the two for one trade up until that very last fight on point B. Where Meta Boys were able to kind of stack it on in and then roll into third with a full five pack. Swap around into the launcher mat. Swap. I ro rotate around. More accurate. Okay, they're just going to push. These good guys decide to take the fight right here at the top of the subway entrance. Jump down off the high ground for Boral Play. Boral Play is surrounded. That is five jerseys uh, and an Orisa just being corralled. No chance as poor plays feeds themselves into the fire. This defense is going to collapse on the back of that. Barring fake Jake just coming through and slaughtering everybody. But it's now a 1v4. Looking less and less likely. And that's going to be a what and done here on point A. And good guys are on the road. I really meant to go to deep group, Bob, I swear. Oh, we're looking at a retake. Poor out. Communication breakdown. It's always the same. Whoop, whoop. Drumming dancing around a couple spears there for a moment. Uh, how about some ICAP pop on this Deadeye? You're going to force everybody back. This gets GCB and Fake Jake up into a high ground position. Fake Jake now sitting above this five pack of ultimates. It's going to be the orbital ray thrown in. And it's actually Karama pulls out the first sword. Looks like they ate a shield bash done initially. But are able to kind of cut through and do some damage. And ends up being a one for one trade onto the Junos. Both of them did invest their ultimates throughout this. The chaos continues here on the objective. There's a late rally from Rod FD. Might be the difference maker. Oh, I say that. They're dropping reinforcements. Pearl plays with the big ultimate at the end. Actually the one to tilt the scales. And this defense stabilizes here. Although, I say that. Dempsey's still on the cart. Despite, I see four Meta Boys players here. Dempsey inches out a couple more oh, meters. I don't know how you inch out meters. But Dempsey did it, all right? Dempsey did it. Apologies to all, all, all my EMEA fans out there, which is probably everybody, right? It's watching right now. Trying to trying to imperialize your metric system. Whoa, that's blade. Oh, that is a blade! 
Hey, Jake, let's go. Give me a fourth. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Holy cow. Fake Jake with a statement defensive Dragon Blade. Now just living in the heads. Up in the second floor. Everybody here for good guys. All four eyes turned into Gigi as they use their speed ring to try to rush out. So you can turn the tide on this thing. Now a good speed. I mean, this might be Metal Boys bite off more than they can chew. Dropping the Dead Eye in. Positioning though. No, they converge beautifully into the corner with the rally. Never mind. They had the plan. They had the vision. I just didn't see it. I thought they were going to get beat by speed on that rotation. But good guys couldn't make it out of that little corner. They get caught. And the rally from GCB just turns this defense into an indomitable force. Whoop, you do still have a couple players now. Who's up there? Who the hell is up there? GCB, what are you doing up here? Trying to protect ICAV. <laughs> GCB drops the bird gap into the chat. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was a dirty little headshot. And ICAV, uh, find some revenge. Nobody kills ICAV's brig. Look at a D-Cruise with this Viper and this Bob. Try to break this open or at least put enough pressure down. Oh, ooh, got too close though. Yep. I heard the voice line start there for Karama. Unfortunately, that's all we heard. You guys need an opener here. They need something to go their way. Need a couple of good headshots out of D Cruz. Catch somebody out. Perhaps stun up this blade and cancel this blade and get it out of there as an opener. Something needs to go right here, good guys, as they turn this corner. They've got fake Jake Low. Oh, that pick could have been it. D Cruz is going to head to the high ground. Let's check on ICAP's pop here with the dead eye. Ooh. Now fake Jake's going in. Rod FD is on the case. Pops the rally. Fake Jake cannot pull off the blade here. The deflect keeps him alive. Oh, but the mace just keeps on swinging. Ooh, and the stun on Aporo will ensure the cart keeps on rolling. Is there enough time to do anything with it? All right, Depsy was just hoping that they would charge up top. Oh, they are going to. That's going to be a huge Terra Surge. Yeah, you get two in that. Beautifully played. The blade is out from Fake Shake, but they're already so low on health. Now the rally is up from the defense as well. Meta Boys are investing heavy into this overtime fight. So far, nothing is going their way. They do pick up Rod FD in the back, but Karama is there to take GCB down. Meta Boys are running for the hills. Pearl Play is still just dancing on the edge. Toe on the line for a chance to retake, to contest here on the final seconds. See if they can bring it back in this OT. Ikev is back on this point. GCB making a swap to the Yana as Depsy tries to hold. There's the rally. Oh, the rally. The Reaper out of fake Jake, but Ikev is down. Karama's already able to pick him up in the back. Rally is up. But Pearl Blaze picks up D Cruz here on the front line. Terra Surge out of Pearl Blaze. And fake Jake gets one. That is going to force everybody off. Meta Boys. They take the map. And what looked like an impossible retake situation. And we're going to get the 4K blade here for your play of the game. You betcha. Get some stats from map number two. Yeah, fake Jake. Fake Jake had a hell of a map on that Genji. 38 and 6. Fewest deaths. Highest elims. And up there in damage as well. Although there was a lot of damage going back and forth in this one. I mean, God, D Cruz and Depsy were putting the hurt down. I mean, a combined 
you know, 35,000 damage between the two of them. It felt like good guys were on the brink. It felt like they were on the brink on, on multiple occasions. Particularly after they just won and done that point A. All right. Hey, I went to that a little too early. I like to remind you of the band before I show you the map coming up. It was Esperanza band out here from good guys. Meta boys, Matt Pick. They look to close this out in three. Now we're back on this group. We're gonna stop you here for map three. No subs. Better boys, kind of got everything clicking for him here this season. Uh, the the addition of GCB, I think, was an amazing pickup in the back line. I mean, Meta Boys, they were around for Season 1, kind of came back for Season 3. Um, built off... Uh, this is the final offer squad, right? But they have had... Whether that's correct or not, they have had a hell of a season here. Um, all the way down the line. I will say, I mean, it does feel like the, the DPS. The DPS are a real standout as well. So, I mean, be it, you know, ICAV in the hitscan role or what we saw in that last map with Fake Jake just dominating on the Genji. Uh, this DPS uh, duo uh, has been very dead. I love it when the music just works out like that. When the my background music fades out right as the map music kicks in. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Oh no, that's um no 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 never mind. That's I know what that squad is. Wasn't final offer. Oh, yeah, GCB went to sheer cold after the Aoma trade. Hmm. Alright, anyway. Let's get everyone to stop My stupid brain doesn't work as well as it should. I feel like I've looked up all this stuff and I forget. No matter. What matters? Meta Boy is up 2 0. Your third and fourth place team in the standing. Both currently tied 7 and 1 overall records heading into season, uh, heading into week 5. D Crew showing us the sojourn here. And Depsy pulling off the Junker Queen. We've seen this variation a lot on push. Um, and Flashpoint as well. Where, I mean, just you know, added Junker Queen speed into the mix can really kind of catch a, a flat-footed Orisa squad off, off balance a little bit. I think that's exactly what we just saw here in this first fight. Very quick engage here out of Meta Boys. Oh, excuse me. That was out of good guys. Quick approach here from the uh, guys as they're back on this uh, from Meta Boys. But needless side swapping. Needless side swapping. Just try to make things as confusing as possible. Push 
pushing the barricade. Let's keep it up. Okay. Metaboy's now looking to see if they can match the time or match the distance here. We should get up to this corner. Of course, the checkpoint is the real goal, the real objective. This is the uh, orbital rally that's going to be thrown into this one. Rampage kind of got held up for a moment, but does eventually get to. And on the back of that, Karaman's able to pick up a kill, and Rod's going to go ahead and invest this rally in the back of the fight. Secure that Elim on to fake Jake. Four plays will go down as well, so. Good guys come up with a good fight when they need it. They deny not only the checkpoint, but the lead as well. Apparently, they, there was a terror surge somewhere in that fight. I didn't even see that. That's going to be a, a lot of ultimates. DPS ultimates. Orbital right thrown in. Fake Jake. Once again, finding value with the blade. But Karama is able to get a little bit as well. It's not as much. It's two to three trade. And Depsy and Karama are kind of in separate fights at the moment. Karama backs up, finds a health pack. But Depsy ends up at a 1v2 versus Poro at Texal. Poros are adorable, by the way. I respect the name Poro plays. Hey, I'm manly enough to admit when something is adorable, all right? Poros are adorable. All right, overclock in here out of D. Crows. Cutely moving their way up to see if they can uh, maintain a cute but deadly sort of mentality. Unfortunately, it was all fluff. No bite to that overclock. That's going to be checkpoint picked up here from uh, Meta Voice. Ooh, Terra Surge at that small little area. I had promise. Fortunately, didn't quite hit the mark. Still, Meta Boys are able to find Depsy. You just gotta get Depsy surrounded there. Slick little move from ICAP kind of puts themselves behind Depsy, and there you go. Without the tank, difficult for the retake. Ooh, that's a, a big push forward for four players. Catching D Cruz in potential vulnerable position there. I heard a, a dead eye from ICAV at some point in the mix of that. ICAV was, uh, thought they were coming out of red spawn, I think, for a moment. There's the rally up from Rod FD to try to see if they can put a st stop to this. But Fake Jake is there with another blade. This one's not going anywhere, though. D Cruz has had enough of your sass and shuts that one down. Cruz will eventually get picked up as the rampage is in here from Depsy. Rod FD is going to power through GCB on the back of that purple. Ooh. Texel is able to kind of get over the head of Depsy to pick up that kill on a Rod FD. What a late trade in a 1v3. Texel puts on moves. The aerial dance moves to pick up a trade at the final moment. That is a lot of ultimates coming out simultaneously. Double support ults invested here from Meta Boys to try to fend off the two DPS ults on the other side. Well, actually, it was just the blade on the other side. It was ICAP who dropped their dead eye into this. So three ults invested from Meta Boys in this fight. Still, D Cruz comes up with a pick the other direction, and Little Plume finds GCB. So, I mean, good move out of good guys. They wait out those three ultimates, and then they get scrappy with it, and they're able to brawl it out. Without having to even invest their own overclock, D. Cruz staying very diligent, very conservative there with that ultimate at the end of the fight. 
Man, it would have been very uh, easy to, to hit the key key on that one. But, I mean, what a great sight line. Assuming that ICAP doesn't find them first, D Cruz could have shots all the way up the street. They're going to get pressured out of four places in the Terra Surge. And D Cruz does eventually pull the trigger on that overclock. Pulls that trigger a couple of times. We're hoping to take 4 0 out of the fight. ICAP's already down. Don't have the hit scan to worry about. Depsy alongside with D Cruz does pick up the kill onto the Eraser. With 220 on the clock. The guys are looking to extend this series. They've got a little ways to go. They need to get up to that archway here on the right hand side of your screen. And you gotta get through a couple of difficult defensive positionings, including this window. GCB is low up top, but Karama just can't get it done. The peel is too good. Now I have with a dead eye in the window. Thank you for not making a line out of me as D Cruz falls to that one. Headshot helps take Depsy down. And Meta Boys are going to win this fight out. Buck 50 remain. It was a 30 second fight. It was pretty quick. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> well, no, we're just, uh, just going to pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Depsy gets stunned, but GCB still gets purpled. So despite the beautiful timing on the rally to stun out the Rampage, it costs GCB. And not having uh, fake Jake in this fight, since D Cruz has just open season here with the Soldier and finding a couple of picks throughout that. God, that's all the vision there, GCB. You protected your team. Fortunately, they just didn't have enough teeth to fight back. Good guys on the march once again. Checkpoint, meaning close spawns picked up. Aggressive position here from Depsy. It's so easy to get trapped inside this room. Well, that was a very late energy ring or speed ring. This is a good engage coming in here from Edibles. They're trying to push in down low. Karama gets shut down on their blade, but Fake Jake is in a bit of trouble up here. Depsy. <laughs> was absolutely body blocked, but Poro, Poro took too much damage trying to hold the line. The bouncer gets bounced. And the good times keep on rolling. One final fight for the series, or for a map four. Dinkers with an overclock fighting this uphill battle. No ults on the line for the defense for now. Well, for Meta Boys for now. D Cruz with the overclock sliding up to this high ground. Rally down on the point. D Cruz not quite able to isolate any targets as Fake Jake comes in to clear off that high ground. Karama there to mark the flank and Fake Jake dies. Rod FD protecting the point. That's the lead right in front of them. ICAV drops that dead eye. Fights two! No shot! ICAV fights another! ICAV's gonna get tipsy as well! No way! ICAV just put good guys into the dirt! What a finish! No way! Unreal. Unreal. Go to noon indeed. Let's see that again. Oh, the f I didn't catch that. The flashbang. The flashbang canceled Rampage. Oh, I didn't even catch that. The flashbang canceled Rampage. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> What a play out of ICAV. What a clutch. What an absolute clutch out of ICAV. Says, no, you don't get any momentum, good guys. Sorry. It looks so good for me. Good guys did everything, right? I mean, it felt that way, at least. Couldn't quite get the picks. All, you know, DQs couldn't fight the picks on the overclock, but still you were able to clean up some space. 
You find fake Jake as they come over to try to clear off that high ground. A couple of picks going good guys' favor. The rally holds everybody up. You've got Rampage to seal the deal if you need it. You just got one lone cast that you need to work through. How does that happen?